We do. We're live. Hey! Mm. Except nobody can see us, so oh. we're not live. So we could be ghosts. <laughs> mm. There's a we question could. for you. If you can't oh. see it, um, is it alive? Is it live? Yes, everyone knows another, when you listen to podcast. podcasts on Spotify that they're live talking straight into your headphones at that exact moment. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. They're like, we got him. We got to go. Go, go, go. Go quick. <laughs> what if you were like sleeping and they were like, hey, wake up. Are you, are you, listening? Are you still listening? What's going on here? <laughs> I would be so scared. All right. <laughs> um, episode two. Of our new podcast, ever thought of it? Yes. Where we answer films' burning question, mm. not life. Those are other questions yeah. that we don't have. No. Yeah, we do not. We have are time not to equipped answer to answer yeah. those. Yeah. No, no. And please don't take. We have to have a disclaimer. Uh, the views and ex- uh, opinions expressed on ever thought of it are uh, belong to the hosts and the hosts only. Yes. Do not attempt. Uh, professional. <laughs> All persons depicted herein are fictional. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right so last week if you listened which you didn't the question <laughs> <laughs> the, the question we posed in our first episode Wait, our pilot episode imagine was, if you get, every week we're what? just like well if you didn't listen to last week we talked about how on the first episode we answered this question about this and then it's episode like six and like, <laughs> well if you didn't listen to episode, episode five we were talking about how in episode four yeah. we talked about how in episode three <laughs> well every episode just gets longer and longer i know yes <laughs> A never-ending chain of episodes. Mm-hmm. In theory, a Christmas episode would break the chain. <laughs> I was going to say a musical episode. <laughs> oh, musical! Oh, that would be good go. too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I have just the thing for that one. Or do I? I do. Hello, the musical episode. <laughs> All right, we're wasting time. Um. So, first episode, we asked the question: if you get fat in the matrix you get fat in real life and that led us down a very complicated path to which we sort of inserted our second question which was which natural disaster do you think that you would survive in and we came to the conclusion that zombie apocalypse in the vein of walking dead was the one that we would survive in the most but to go back to the first question we asked do zombies get fat second question uh was the hold on let me go back to the text because i don't want to uh what is the appropriate bmi <laughs> for a zombie <laughs> so this is t- i would two. just i would this just first two. first like to say <laughs> i would just like to say that uh bmi is fake science and nobody should ever trust anyone yes. <laughs> using mm. bmi as an actual indicator of your health but for it's zombies, a, it's, it's okay junkie, to speculate. It's the junk food that makes you have BMI. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that makes you have BMI. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I came down with BMI. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, it, wait, if a uh, if a zombie has a a bad BMI, does that mean that they're morbidly deceased? Oh, oh. Well, the air horn <laughs> is. <laughs> I, wait, I will. If you give me a second, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Hold on. This do I have? A, do I have an it? audio format? There we go. <laughs> yeah, you could have just edited it in later. I know. No, I will, a little as little as possible editing. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to put this up immediately after it's over and walk away. And got too many other things it. going on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you know how when zombies get like cut open or stabbed or whatever, just like a bunch of goop comes out of them. Mm-hmm. It's never yeah. like it's never like whole entrails. Yeah, right. Is BMI just like body mush index? Oh for yes, <laughs> it's the weight of all the the food that they've eaten. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, okay. The the thing with that though is that like in modern zombie things where it's like like if it's like. It's a disease that turns you into like a zombie like creature or whatever. Like that doesn't really make as much sense that their insides would be mush as it does if they were dead and then they like crawled out of the grave. Cause that makes yeah, sense. Right. But wait, if you just get bit by a wait, zombie, so- do your insides turn to mush immediately? <laughs> right? <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> well, that's the first symptom you're like, my stomach, no. <laughs> 
guys running down the street grabbing their stomachs and just farting. I know. <laughs> they're, they're turning into zombies like mid fart. <laughs> Well, that moaning right, they make that... is just just a GI, like you know, oh, yeah. like it's heartburn and, it's and indigestion, gas oh, being just released. Gas. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. yeah. <laughs> They're the death throes. <laughs> but but oh. but also, if we're gonna talk about zombies, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the zombies from Video Dead, who seem to be they ate beans cognizant, yeah, of their surroundings, and they were. Eating beans? How does how does that work? Well, in in if you remember in Day of the Dead, mm-hmm. that there was a zombie called Bub, mm-hmm. who they taught to, or he remembered, so they taught him things. He was intel. He was like an intelligent zombie. Right. He like knew how to use tools. He like recognized people and things like that. Right. The I guess the question is the if if the, the, the zombies don't have a um, like a digestion mm-hmm. system, right? right? Because when they eat, like what happens to it? But yeah. if you have that's a, a great brain, question. <laughs> because like zombies don't poop, so do they just get bigger and bloated? Yeah. Maybe that's how like you know some some zombie things like Left for Dead or like uh, the mm-hmm. Last of Us games or whatever they have like bigger versions of zombies that are like mm. they're like mo- more heavily mutated, but they're also just like larger yeah. physically. Right. Like are they just full of human flesh that's just rotting on their insides maybe or is maybe. their body processing that stuff and turning it into and like accelerating whatever turning infection or right. yeah but if but if well because right. they're after- i guess that's that's the thing if it's like you die and you just come back to life because of i mean i don't know what like what is like night of the living dead dawn of the dead what are their zombies they're just undead they don't, are they infected they, well they, don't they, really they, say. they make well, they, they they are dead, but they make reference to like <clears throat> some uh, outer space disturbance, yeah. That like might oh. have contributed to or, that, or like, like okay. I think it's something with a satellite that comes back, and there's like a microbe on it. I can't oh, I can't okay. remember exactly what it so is. So then, but no, go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say they, they like they have like news reports where they like they interview scientists mm-hmm. about it. So I think the the Night of the Living Dead is more not like um, like occult like, but more mm-hmm. organic. It's right. like something yeah. that's like attacking their body, like right. a parasite or. or well, so then, or like in that case, yeah, whatever parasite or whatever whatever virus or whatever is in their body mm-hmm. feeds on the human flesh. Right. right? So, does so it potentially somehow that could instantly go to and... nourish the virus or the parasite, as yeah. opposed to like getting to their stomach and being digested the way food is digested. Sometimes. Yeah. Exactly. Also, when when does okay so. You probably know this fact about bears that when bears eat salmon, they only eat like two parts of it. They eat the brain and they eat like the fatty part of like the back. Mm-hmm. So zombies eat the brain, right? Like, but there's there's two types of zombies: zombies that just eat, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then there's zombies that specifically like brains. Yeah, like yes. in uh, Return of the Living Dead, they're all about brains. Mm-hmm. So do they know that the brain gives them more? It's like tastes better. It's fattier. It could be that there's some nutritional... some sort of yeah there's some sort of molecules or something in the brain that the parasites are that the virus is mm-hmm. using the virus to, prefers... to fuel itself yes. yes but so you think that there's like but to use Return of the Living like Dead as an example those were for, uh to, to to name drop another movie we watched technically the Return of the Living Dead zombies were toxic zombies right because That's they true. let they out were, yeah. yeah they let out the toxic stuff in the graveyard so. What would yeah. those those toxic chemicals like? Why would that make them want brains? Is there something? Here's right. a question: mm-hmm. Is there something in humans, some survival instinct, that if things got really bad and you had to eat people, that we we know that the brains are the way to go? Right, is like it the most nutritious. Isn't, isn't there something? Isn't aren't there diseases that if you if yes. a human eats another human's brain? Like really bad stuff happens. Yeah, you like go crazy. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. it's called like it's called like <laughs> Kuru something. I'm just gonna look it up. Our new po- our new podcast never ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if if there could be something like that that like in in its most basic like primal form. Yeah. That your a zombie's brain, the little bit that it might be working, is telling it that. A human brain is the best source of whatever. 
Yeah. I don't know. Nutrients or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Fuel. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, it's, okay, it, so... The, the disease is called Kuru. It's a neurodegenerative disorder if you eat too many brains. Um, and... Just any brains. No, human brains. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Sorry. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> like, human oh. brains. Yeah, I cut out all human ba- brains out of my diet. I'm on a no <laughs> yes. human brain diet right now. Sucks. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it like messes with your own brain. They found it in like people who, um, like cultures that do that eat people after they die, like in the, as part of like oh, the sure. funeral ritual. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so then why would zombies? What instinct is there in humans that when they turn into a zombie they want brains? And both okay, so most zombies I would say are quote unquote American. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right, Mm -hmm. that we, you know, although I'm sure that there are, uh, I mean, there's stories of undead in like Greek mythology, but not like flesh consuming. I I don't know. Yeah. Um, But like the zombie is like in a very American thing. It's consumerism. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. blind faith. It's like all these kind of things. So is the brain sort of like supposed to be? It's so dumb that it's like fatty. (laughs) That the reason they eat brains is because yeah. Uh, humans are stupid and that's Maybe. like the the most swelled yeah. useless yeah. part of life. it's just fat that's a good point <laughs> yeah because like i like or dark- maybe maybe it's supposed to be the brainless masses yeah they're trying to get they're trying to they're, they're like give me your brain and i'll get uh, smart uh, if i only had a brain exactly let me, let me he was a zombie <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was a zombie well yeah because like a lot of like other cultures zombie-esque lore is usually more like uh like there's like old like caribbean zombie lore that's like like you could use herbs to turn someone into a zombie so they would like do your bidding but it was it wasn't Mm, as far as i know it wasn't eating people so that's true that is like an american theoretically you could Theoretically, you could make them eat people, but it's not. Well, like that's yes, what yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do in it's that, not. It's sure. not their instinct. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like other, in other cultures, the zombie movie, like like Korean zombie movies and things like that, they don't focus on what the zombie represents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it like the way that America does. Yeah. <clears throat> like I'm thinking like, like Train to Busan or even that movie Alive, where yeah. the zombies are just kind of like, they're just there. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're a threat. They're not like a character. Yeah. Right, they're, they're almost like they're created like uh as a result of something. Like the government yeah. mm-hmm. does something. And so like you could say like okay, well, the government can create like these mindless drones to do whatever mm-hmm. it wants. Yeah. And but they you know cuz they also think for themselves in a way. Yeah. That they mm-hmm. just like run amok. But I feel like in American movies the, the zombies have like a specific purpose. They're, they're mm-hmm. supposed to represent something very specific, specifically American. Yeah. Um, but that that doesn't necessarily answer our question. We have a lot of evidence now. Mm-hmm. So knowing what we know, <laughs> do zombies get fat? <laughs> and what is a good BMI for a zombie? Well, if so, if it's I body mush I've index, ever... I would say one hundred percent. One hundred. Slow them down. Because because oh. Dan, to your point. <laughs> Doesn't in, seem in, the, like in like those games, the 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 bigger zombie is usually like stronger, mm-hmm. maybe faster. It can like jump farther. It's like more yeah. aware of its surroundings. It's not necessarily mindless. So the more it eats, the more intelligent it, it gets, and the bigger it gets. So mm. if they don't yeah, have a um, presumably, if they don't have a digestive system, then a zombie yeah. can get fat. Right. Yeah. But if a zombie doesn't well, eat... But fat in a different... It's not like the way humans get fat where our body consumes it and turns it into... It stores that that. It's energy. just simply adding fat. weight. It's, it's like just literally filling its on. body with... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, filling its body with parts. With when mush. It's consumed. With yeah. goo. But then, like, I, I've never seen... Um, I've never seen any sort of zombie media that has tried to... That has shown that... Right, a zombie getting fat or getting skinny or something mm-hmm. over time. Because normally they don't take place over that long of a time, and the right. zombies aren't singular characters. They're just they're one of many. Mm-hmm. They're yes. part of like a horde or something like that. Um, but like you look at a movie, at like the movies we talked about, or like World War Z or any mm-hmm. of that stuff. The fat zombies that you see 
look like they were already fat humans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? They were fat before they became a zombie. Nick Nick Frost in Shaun of the Dead style. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because at the end, he's still fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then... So, I I would say, no, zombies don't get fat. Their bodies either... Either the stuff they eat spills out of the holes in their bodies from the decomposition, <laughs> right? Uh, or whatever has caused them to become a zombie is consuming the human flesh in a different way that turns it into some sort of energy, mm-hmm. I, but doesn't store it as like body fat. It it releases it or it uses it to walk or you know whatever. I yeah, know. I was gonna well, say. To eat more. I, I, yeah. I would argue Cause that because all they want to do is eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would argue that the like effort that zombies have to put into moving and attacking and eating people because their muscles don't really work and stuff, like all of the everything they eat would be immediately converted into that energy. Like if they yeah. have a, uh, if they digest that's it, that's why they're always way, on the hunt. They need it. Yeah, like zombies are not like I ate something, so I'm good for a little right. yeah. while. They're like they just want to eat, so they're clearly not. They're not getting the sustenance they need yeah. from eating, like, a piece of a person, right? This is so why like, you need a eat. balanced diet. You need well, exactly. all the food the groups. Can a zombie be full? Mm. I don't know. I, don't well, know. I feel like zombies... Say, no, thanks. <laughs> I think zombies of his would list just... With a, with a <laughs> napkin and unbutton that, you know, the last button <laughs> the on button. his pants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like zombies no. would just eat until they literally burst. Yeah, I think that's their only their only existence is eat hunger and wanting brains yeah. and flesh. So I can't. Whatever's imagine they left would of their brain. Stop. Yeah, now, whatever's left of their brain or whatever's controlling their brain is literally just telling them to eat. Yeah. Now, another question for you. Mm-hmm. Let's say that a person was very very large. They lost a lot of weight and they were skinny. <laughs> Does that mean when they're a zombie that they can gain more weight? Before they before burst, they burst. Then a normal person who is like skinny to begin with, who's who has a smaller frame. Well, I guess it would depend I've... on the size of their stomach, right? Yeah. If you just have a really big stomach, then you could probably eat more people. But have have zombies ever exploded from eating too much in a movie? Or did we just make that I don't up? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I've never. I don't, not that I know of. Well, because right? zombies in movies usually eat like one person at a time, or there right, are many zombies eating a single person. You never that's see true. like one guy snacking on like a whole room full of people, <laughs> right? You know. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so frightening! Like that, you're you're like walking through a house and it's like all dark, and you have your flashlight, and you open the door, and there's just like bones almost picked clean, and into the corner there's like a giant fat zombie just sitting there, just munching, covered in blood. Oh. Everybody. He's eating everybody in the house or wherever he is. Wow. I just slowly close the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like he could chase after you. No. I know. <laughs> but, but, in, but in our theory that, yeah. that a bigger it's, zombie it's, might be stronger, he might, like, he might like roll and like burst through the wall. And then you're oh! like, yeah, from the Indiana Jones. <laughs> 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 that would be so scary. That would actually be a really cool yeah. idea. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say be that's good for a, a game. Yeah, yeah, that's an that untapped like, uh, zombie mechanic. Your perspective is like that. You know, the character's running towards you, and you have to like jump over the box so that you don't trip, uh-huh. and then he rolls over. Yeah, you. you're basically playing Crash Bandicoot. Yes, uh, <laughs> except you're getting chased by a giant rolling zombie. Yeah, and then like the 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 tiki head. Is mm-hmm. like, hey, do you want to yeah. restart? <laughs> <laughs> So well, many I think questions. We can, well, I think we can put that one to bed. Yeah. I think yeah. we solved that one. I think so. Yeah. Um, great, great work, everybody. Great yes. work. Good job, everybody. All right. Everybody clock everybody out the for floor. the day. Why don't we take an early day? <laughs> I have to fire you too, Ed. Bong, <laughs> bing, bong. bing, bong. <laughs> um, all right. We need another question. Oh, God. Hmm. Um, we really should have prepared ahead of time. I know. It's okay. I didn't think this podcast was going to have homework. What? Why didn't in Terminator? Why didn't they send the Terminator back to when Sarah Connor Connor was a baby <laughs> and kill her then? Why did they have to kill her when she's an adult <laughs> she's and an can adult. fight back? That's like maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Maybe. <laughs> how, okay, how old do you think she was in the movie? She's probably like like how old 20, was the character? 
I, th- I think she's supposed to be in her early 20s. Okay. She's like so, a waitress. She's like very young. She's not married. Right. Mm-hmm. She's well, like, I think well, she lives what with if, roommates. What if it was like she was born in like 1969 and then they wanted to go to that year, but they accidentally put in the time machine 1996 and then no. they just got it mixed up. <laughs> and that's why they were like, shit, I guess we have to kill her as an adult. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just messed up. <laughs> oh my god! It just doesn't make well, sense. Well, I mean, obviously, like the, the for the movie to be entertaining, of course, you're not gonna watch yeah. a baby fighting a grown man. <laughs> for an I hour would. And a half. <laughs> I would. That'd be great. How good is this baby at fighting? She's got a hell of a chin Just... on her. <laughs> Go ahead. Here's a question related to that: is is the Terminator timeline? I, Caveat: I've only seen the first three Terminator okay. movies. I don't know what happens. I, later I can with fill the you in ones. on the on the stupid, oh my stupid god, stuff that please. happens later that changes uh, all that. But go ahead. Well, I was gonna, so I was gonna say, is the Terminator timeline a closed loop, or is it? Are there multiple timelines? Every time they send a Terminator back, do they spawn a new timeline? Right? Because like right. in in the original timeline, they send the Terminator back to kill Sarah Connor, mm-hmm. but like. Regardless of what he does, do they just continue on with their war? Like nothing changes for them, right? right. I guess uh, technically, well, okay. So it, at the end of the second, uh, or I guess in the beginning of the third movie, you're supposed to be led. You're you're led to believe that what they did in Terminator Two did not work, right? Mm-hmm. So the the future doesn't change because they're not doing the correct thing in the past, mm-hmm. which I think is like part of the the theme of the movie is that like you just can't go back and change the past mm-hmm. because there's always going to be something else to come along and like change it you have to change the present yeah if you yeah. want to change the future right um so now so a terminator uh salvation is the one where it takes place in the future and christian bale yes is john connor oh i forgot um, that about one that. doesn't really that yeah. one doesn't really affect the timeline because i don't think there's any time traveling in that but okay. then there's there's two others. There's T- Terminator Genesis, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. theorizes that John Connor uh, sends back the Kyle Reese from the first movie, but the timeline is different, where Sarah Connor knows when Kyle Reese goes back that she is being hunted because the good Terminator came back to help <laughs> raise her to be an efficient fighter okay and the guy and that's is that is that then theoretically why she is how she is in the second movie that movie technically according to james cameron does not belong to the terminator franchise it is a separate terminator (laughs) movie wait two or genesis genesis yeah genesis is not part of the terminator canon okay it is a separate entity of a movie that's very similar does the one tried to reboot it and it didn't work does and the one where his yeah, so they're like, oh no, no, no that wasn't a real one. No, just no. If it's, don't forget we, about we that. We can't one. just That's ignore fine. that this media doesn't exist. We can't just say, well, <laughs> it just doesn't exist. It does, and it's a real it's... stain on that franchise. <clears throat> does the one where his name is Carl count in the canon? Yes. So the new okay. one, Terminator: Dark Fate, is a direct sequel to Terminator Two. Yes. But okay. But I think Terminator Three is also not part of canon anymore. They just said you oh. can't just retcon that it is not part of it. You can't <laughs> take something out a whole movie. Oh, we're, we're you know what we're gonna go back now. Godfather one and Godfather three are canon. <laughs> two, Godfather two is not doesn't exist is, is out. And you it's know what's part, part of the Thomas. Godfather canon now? SpongeBob. What? That's part of the canon. <laughs> it's all in the same universe. If the you second think about SpongeBob it. movie is now Godfather two. Yes. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> You know the first the first Godfather is the rise of Michael Corleone, and the second Godfather movie is the fall of SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he has a he has a place in Tahoe. Yeah, he kills his brother. And, and the There's a whole second, scene in Cuba. <laughs> the second Godfather is now Star Wars Six, I believe. If I have my facts Star, correct, oh. Star Wars Six. Okay, yes. so okay, and Star Wars Six 
is now Terminator Genesis. Yes, that's right. I did. I, I think I read about that somewhere. Yes. I, think I mean, it would probably be a much better Terminator yeah, Genesis. Yeah. You're watching and you're like, when are my friends coming? When, are, when is the happy-go-lucky <laughs> cast going to show up? I don't know if you've seen, you probably haven't seen Dark Fate, the new one, have you? Mm-mm. No. I in it, have. In it, in it, Arnold <laughs> is, um, like, he settles down and he moves uh-huh. in with this woman and her kid and he goes by Carl, and he works at like a blind store. Yeah, he like, like he like has like store. a window blind company. Or something. Yeah, yeah like, like I just imagine that he's got like a minigun under the desk. Yeah. And yeah. every time someone comes in that he doesn't like, he like puts his hand on it, and you can hear it like whirring. Yeah, beneath, <laughs> beneath the desk. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so to answer well. your question, I believe it is a closed loop. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the even though the actions that happen in the past affect the future, mm-hmm. they're they're all related. That they just keep delaying the inevitable. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like, Judgment Day well, doesn't so... happen in 1997. In in Terminator Three, it happens like in 2004. Right. I mean, like, it just keeps delaying. So well, like... but so then they are different timelines. It's just the 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 the, um, the events are inevitable. But I think they're all part of the same history. Yes. Like, 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 like in Terminator Three, what happens in Terminator One and Terminator Two exist in that world, mm-hmm. right? But, 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 like, my question is like, like when, like, okay, when Sarah Connor was in her twenties, whatever, mm-hmm. in her first original life, sure, did a Terminator come for her or no? Nobody came for her. The, a bunch of stuff happens, Terminators happen, and then they send a Terminator back, and now there's a separate timeline where a Terminator did come mm-hmm. back to try and kill her. I, right? Yeah, I but guess But the, you... the, the result is the same, but how they got there has changed. Okay, well, so, okay, well so I'm back to the future by what you mean style. By, by separate... Well, because this... Okay, so when you mean separate timeline, do you mean that there are now two distinct parallel timelines that exist? So two... No, see, that... I don't think that's what yes. happens. It becomes the like, same. Like you may timeline. never seen, you may never see timeline one, where no Terminator exists. Right. I, but I don't that think that's happened. No, you don't well, think so. It, but, like, well, so it, like it happens and then it's changed, but that there doesn't exist another world, another universe where she she lives a normal life. Her life right. in the Terminator world becomes that timeline. Right, like she doesn't if, remember if a time. There's not two Sarah no, no, no. Connors. She would no. no. Yeah, there right, but, but if Connors. she is, there's only there's only one. Mm-hmm. Right, but that means that her first time through her life, mm-hmm. a Terminator came for her, and then a Terminator came for her kid. Well, and then... I think that depends on how you think of time travel. Yeah, because I don't think that yeah. necessarily would. Like, because the movie that... is about the timeline where there's a Terminator, I guess it depends if you think that, like, like things are... If you think that's how time travel works. Are they, yeah, are they cyclical? Is it like, maybe they did send a Terminator to try and kill her as a baby, but they failed, right? right? We just don't see that. Right. right. I, I but, think, like, I that think... is part of history. There's one single version of history mm-hmm. that... Ha- it, they, they, them going back in time to try and change history doesn't actually change anything because they've actually already okay. done it. Okay, yes. Right. Okay, you so now, 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 now I'm understanding what you're saying. Yeah. In the context of the movie, if Sarah Connor had... Th- thought when if we had seen her when she's older thinking mm-hmm. about when that happened then i think then it's all one timeline mm-hmm. yes but if you don't show that in context then it's right. actually yes you're 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 correct it's like it's creating mm-hmm. a, a new timeline yeah that we're that we're following but the other one doesn't exist in like a parallel universe right. it, it right. just simply yeah it just simply creates a right. Uh, we're on a new path. Mm-hmm. Yes. That old path is yeah. Because like, because like in in uh, Back to the Future, uh, he goes back in time and he smashes the tree, and then the the later the, in the movie, the Twin Pines Mall is called Lone Pine Mall. Yeah, right? right. Right. So like, he's changed the future. That's not a closed loop. He's he's spawned a new timeline. Right, but only yes. he knows that. Nobody else. Yes, only yeah, he only knows he that. Knows yes, that. And, and, yes, and only yeah, yeah. Sarah Connor knows that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And or I guess only John Connor knows that at first. Mm-hmm. He knows he's about to create yeah. a new loop. Because yes. His mom by... doesn't know yet. Yes. And then yeah. she knows later. Yes. Oh, that is our. Th- that's thirty minutes. Oh, oh that's a. I think oh that's a good God. stopping point. 
Do, do, do you think we answered your question? Yes. Okay. Well, we didn't answer mine. Why didn't they just Terminator is not a closed loop. Do you think I that know. her dad yeah. was... Maybe it turns out that her dad looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that's her dad was a Terminator. Him. They based the Terminator <laughs> off his look. Oh. Yeah, so that if he went back when she was a baby, that he could just like walk in the house and be like, hello, family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he like goes to the crib and then the real Arnold shows up. And he's like, what are you doing? No, the and real Arnold like... is in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting for him. <laughs> That. that would make for a much better movie. Yeah. Wow. And we're going to end it there today, folks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> listen to our other, our I guess, watch our other podcast or video cast. What do you call that? Video cast? I don't know. Who fucking knows? We have Dream? another thing on YouTube called Never Heard of It, where we watch movies we've never heard of. They're all horror movies. You have to suffer through it with us. Go to neverheardofit.biz. <laughs> we make t-shirts after every episode, so mm-hmm. you can buy those. You won't. We don't care. No, nope. we're still going to do it anyway. Them. <laughs> Give them to your friends and as a gift. As your as, as a gift. Yeah. What 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 do we want the release schedule of this podcast to be? Because it's it's pretty easy uh, to do. Like whenever, yeah. whenever. <laughs> I, I thought you said <laughs> never. Never. Oh, <laughs> I'll never. Ne- put them in. Literally, never heard of it. Put them I mean, in the <laughs> vault, Walt Disney. We'll take them out yeah. every twenty yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, do maybe we'll do Tuesdays and Fridays are when we release them because we okay. can record Monday and Thursday. Yeah, that works for don't me. Don't tell them our secrets. Gosh. Oh, don't shit. give them any behind the scenes oh. info. Oh no! Oh, and listen to us on. You're probably listening to it on Spotify, but we're mm-hmm. on Spotify. And Continue so you can yes. come to, to us on other Spotify. major markets, including grocery stores. <laughs> uh, wow. Your local CVS. Uh, your local CVS. <laughs> um, outdoor markets, farmers markets. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're doing the whole farmers market circuit. You'll yeah. hear us yes. screaming at each other about whether flea Sarah markets? Connor died when she was a baby. Flea markets? Flea, markets. flea circuses? Uh-huh. Black <laughs> markets? Black, Black markets. markets. That's right. That's right. Uh, find us on tour.com. <laughs> 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 or the tour browser, whatever it's called. <laughs> tour.com. <laughs> yeah, that's how easy it is to find it. <laughs> tour.com slash kidney. All right. <laughs> 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 do you think they have keywords like AOL? Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. like visit us at Instagram.com tour keyword. <laughs> keyword <Insta>. cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <sighs> Bye everybody. Oh boy. Bye. 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 <laughs>